The Touareg's innovative chassis and suspension design gives you great handling and performance on the road and off. Independent suspension. The full-time all-wheel drive distributes power to all the wheels. The Touareg's electronically controlled transmission sets new technical standards. Using low range helps you to handle tricky off-road situations. And if the going gets tough, individually lockable differentials help you to keep going. The optional pneumatic suspension system helps to reduce body motion from uneven surfaces, not only off-road. The suspension struts at all four wheels are continuously monitored by accelerometers and height sensors and controlled by electronic damping. Double control arms for the front and rear. The Touareg has the ride qualities of a luxury sedan. And a compressor, together with the extremely large air reservoirs, keeps the system supplied with air. The Touareg's brake system has four internally vented disc brakes for better braking on and off the road. Chassis, suspension, transmission, brakes. Four features for performance, comfort and safety in your Touareg. Although the Touareg is able to drive along the side of a slope at a considerable angle, asking the vehicle to do more than it's able to do greatly increases the danger of tipping sideways and rolling downhill. If you get into a difficult situation, despite taking all of the necessary precautions to avoid it, use the throttle in small, gentle doses to try to stabilize the Touareg. If acceleration is not enough, immediately steer downhill along the fall line. The Tuareg flies through the desert, across treacherous gravel washes and over sand dunes. The physical strain on the driver and the unpredictable risks in a desert rally cannot be compared to any other sport. Jutta Kleinschmidt is the most successful female rally driver of all time. In 2001, Jutta wrote motorsports history with her sensational victory in the longest and hardest of all desert rallies, the Paris-Dakar Rally. The graduate physicist who lives in Monaco is making her professional dream come true at Volkswagen. For the first time, she is personally involved in the development of a rally car, the competition version of the Touareg. With this CD-ROM, you can gain some insights into off-road driving from Yuta as she takes you through water, over hills, and through other off-road situations in a regular Tuareg.
What you just saw shows what the Touareg can do in difficult off-road terrain. I drove the vehicle near the limit to show what the Touareg can do. You should never get into situations like these because it's easy to lose control and be seriously injured. Now I'd like to give you a few tips to help you avoid difficult and dangerous situations. But before we start, you should get to know your Touareg and keep the following things in mind. The easiest way through difficult terrain often leads through dried out riverbeds, ditches or gullies. You can always expect to come up against a number of different kind of obstacles when you're off-roading. Besides large stones or rocks, you can come across unexpected muddy sections and riverbeds. Make a point of checking the width of the path ahead before you try to cross a dry riverbed. In narrow sections, you may be forced to drive across an incline. This is one of the most difficult and potentially dangerous parts of off-road driving because the vehicle can tip over suddenly. Driving safely through water depends on five things. How deep is the water? How fast is the current? What's the composition of the riverbed and bank? How steep are the banks? What's the maximum fording depth of your vehicle? Under the best conditions, you can drive through water that's about 19 inches, 500 millimeters deep. You have to check the route out on foot before driving through water. Underwater obstacles and drop-offs can be very dangerous. Make sure you can enter and exit safely. Always check approach and departure angles and the firmness of the banks. Before starting across, make sure windows and doors are closed tight. After driving through water, you have to test the brakes. Small stones can get stuck in the brake calipers. A film of water on the discs will make it harder to stop. After you've checked everything, continue, but do so carefully, and only after you've dried the brakes by braking gently several times. Don't forget to check the rear view mirror. <laughs> 